In this case, a mechanic was tasked to test a hydraulic cylinder after the operator reported that the cylinder was drifting when the directional control valve was in the hold position. A common practice in the industry is to disconnect an oil transmission line and pressurize the cylinder. Let me explain. So visualize we've got a seal here and the seal, suspect the seal is leaking and now we're going to apply full pressure to the seal to observe, physically observe, what's going to come out the other side while it's under pressure. Now, first and foremost, it's a dangerous procedure, but it's also unscientific. For example, we don't know when we're testing a hydraulic cylinder if it has a single seal for both directions of travel or one for each direction of travel. In this case, we have one, and here we have two. Now, if the cylinder, for example, was drifting on the retract position, going that way, then this is your suspect seal. However, if I were to retract the cylinder and put pressure against that, this side of the cylinder, I'd be looking at the good seal. I'd be testing the good seal, which means it'll give me a false positive. In this case, the technician removed the transmission line, not realizing that there was a gas heater above the machine. The cylinder was mounted horizontally on the machine, pulled the line, pressured in to test the cylinder, the seal was bad, and the oil went straight up into the gas heater and set the plant on fire. And this is one of the hazards associated with taking lines off, and that is that if there's an ignition source, it can cause a fire because it's going to atomize the oil. It's going to be highly volatile. The proper way to do this is, number one, we have a job safety analysis. Number two, we have to have the manufacturer's recommendations. Three, we have to have the proper training, and the training has to be specialized to hydraulic cylinder training, not generalized training. And finally, we need to have the proper diagnostic instruments, which may be recommended by the manufacturer.